Hey everybody. Oh wow, look at that. Any machine for anime characters. This is actually the first time I've used the actual YouTube app for live streaming instead of the um, third party app. So let me know what you guys think. If it's connection's good, if it's lagging. Hopefully it's good. What's in it? Uh, I see, most people are saying it's good, but someone said it does lag a little bit. Well, let's see how it goes. It's the first time I'm doing it this way, so. I can actually see a little bit of lag on my side too. Um, but anyway. It's only a dollar to play this. I'm not trying to touch this right now, but oh, you can't actually see the screen. There's too much of a glare. Yeah, I guess they do sell albums of idols. I'm not really sure about that. Here's a cat cafe. I've actually never done a cat cafe. You said the image degraded a bit. Yeah, I'm expecting the I'm expecting the quality is gonna drop a little bit in this kind of an area because I'm using Wi-Fi and um, there's just so many Wi-Fi signals around here. It's insane. So I totally expect to have um, a few interruptions and lag. That's kind of another reason why I tend to avoid these places because it just kind of messes up my stream until I can get a better signal situation going. Look at this, you can get like tiny little fake plants in this gotcha machine. You can also get a tiny, tiny little laptop. Why would you need that?
So a good thing about uh, YouTube app compared to the third-party app is that I can actually see your comments in real time. So I realize now that the third-party app was uh, delayed, like significantly delayed. It, comments would come in like in batches, like every five minutes or so. But this is much smoother. Yeah, you still see a lot of the Bandai logo. Even if it's Bandai Namco, you can still find the Bandai all over the place. This might be the kind of place where I'm going to lose connection. There's no way I'm going in there. I think the stream would cut out immediately. I don't really feel like going in there. About a dollar to play these games if you want. Let's see if he wins. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bet not. Oh wow, what? 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 Oh wow. Nope. Nobody wins those things. This is kind of like the classic Akihabara view right here. We'll get a little bit closer, but just from this this angle right here, this is kind of that's Akihabara for you. I should have done my I should have done the thumbnail for this this stream of that right there, but I was impatient. I started it early. Oh, here we go. Here's Gacha Heaven right here. waiting for the people to pass.
wow, look at that, can of tuna. You can get a ring, a ring that's a can of tuna. I didn't really see anything that funny or interesting besides that. I was looking, but... Anyway. There's the... Uh, big camera right here. This is like... Uh, let me show you back here real quick. This is where you can get like every kind of electronic imaginable. Cameras, laptops, phones, games, everything. And it's usually like five or six floors. I can't even like go all the way up. It's huge. So there's like floor after floor after floor of insanity. Crazy music, bright lights. It's just like an over, overdose of, I mean, it's just insane. Like a total assault on your stimulus, on your brain, too much stimulus. But I'm not gonna go in there because I'll lose Wi-Fi connection for sure. And I also don't want to go inside right now. And those stores drive me insane with all the noises. We'll go back to the other side on the way back. There's actually a lot cooler shops over there. Oh no, a lot of stuff is closed right now though. Okay, well, there's a couple shops I really want to see over there that I, I'll show you guys, but let's see if they're open on the way back. Yeah, a lot of shops are closed. Look at this bread. That's just a big giant loaf of bread. For about $25 to $30, you can get a big loaf of bread with a bunch of whipped cream and fruit and sugar on top. And top it off with a nice sugary drink here for another 30 bucks. So for $60, $70, you can have that as your meal. Isn't that great? Oh, look at this one. Ice cream on top. Nope, that's not a cake. That's a big loaf of bread. I don't know, maybe it was a cake. I didn't read it. Oh my God. That's hilarious. Like a scale. Yeah, it's just like American style white bread. This is the kind of music that you would hear in the big camera. So imagine this, like right above your head. Imagine that kind of music, like right above your head the entire time you're in the store, but add to it like extremely, extremely bright white lights flashing in your eyes. 
and then like crowds of people and chaos and unorganized nonsense. Where am I right now? Uh, okay, I think I know where I am. Here goes the train, Sega store. I don't know why they think it's a good idea to bombard people with insane music and lights and sounds and stuff when you're shopping. Like that doesn't make people want to stay in, does it? Maybe for some people it makes you want to shop harder, I don't know. This is where you can buy ramen or soba or curry and you just pay ahead of time, so you put your money in and then you just press the button of what you want and then you get a little ticket that comes out see they're doing it inside right now and then you give the ticket to the people inside and they serve you so people who normally watch my streams maybe you can understand now why I like to stick to the quiet back roads and I hardly ever come to these kind of places it's just too overwhelming. It's like noisy and smelly and like flashing lights and so many people and it's just not comfortable. I mean, it is a fun part of Tokyo to see that kind of atmosphere, but it's not, it's not my favorite thing to do. I prefer the more quiet, mellow, low key back roads with just like kind of chill, charming kind of traditional housing and stuff like that yeah so dude mentioned here uh, this is the kind of place that people specifically go to for this kind of chaos and craziness this is not all of Tokyo um, Tokyo has little pockets of this in little some places, but this is kind of like a tourist trap. It's like a cluster of really, uh, you know, typical Japanese kind of pop culture, electronics and gaming and all that kind of stuff. So it's not, this is not your, the whole real Tokyo. This is the image that you tend to see in movies and TV shows and just the kind of really typical image of Tokyo um, because that's what attracts people and gets people excited. but. Um, it's actually a relatively tiny little pockets of Tokyo compared to like what it, Tokyo is really like. So, I mean, I feel like it kind of gets overblown, like kind of a lot of places, you know, like obviously Paris is not just the Eiffel Tower, you know, it's, they, they kind of tend to fo hyper focus in on like the one thing that kind of excites people. And that becomes like the whole idea of what Tokyo is. I'm not gonna go down there because it's not as interesting. And I'm gonna end the stream soon. You see her, that actress? I forget her name right now. I know it, but it's um, Watanabe-san. Watanabe so she's, uh, she just announced that she's moving to America uh, permanently. I have, I'm gonna make a prediction now that she's gonna be huge, like really famous, I have a feeling. She's already really famous in Japan. And she's also like a comedian, but also a model. And she just got hooked up with some really like famous agencies in the U.S., which, um, like, I think Beyonce is part of that agency, and um, I have a feeling that she'll become a pretty big name. Yeah, there it is, Watanabe Naomi. I have a feeling she's going to become a really big name in the U.S. in the next few years as a Japanese uh, personality.
No, I don't. I don't believe she has any relation to Ken Watan Watanabe. I don't know. I could be wrong. <laughs> no, I, I'm pretty sure it's just a common last name. And <laughs> Watanabe is the fifth most common surname in Japan. No relation. Wow. How did you know it was the fifth? That's pretty impressive. I know it's common like sat Sato. I'm not going to go inside of any stores. I'm trying to keep outside where there's airflow and less people. I don't want to go into a closed area right now. There's the train. Number one, but what if it's like an outdated information? All right, let's do a let's do a walk along the other side of the street, and then I'm gonna end the stream. It's late. I want to go home. Honestly, I don't really like this kind of area. I just did it because I thought the viewers would be interested to. I thought people would be interested to see it. Oh, no, I wanted to cross. Okay. Um, oh, she's going for it. I'm not going to go for it. I guess I could have made it. Oh, she made it. She cleared the street. By the way, this is like super empty compared to what it would normally be. Yeah, I'm glad you guys thought it was interesting to see. It's good, it's kind of a rare thing. I don't normally come to these really kind of crazy, uh, kind of like touristy areas with all this chaos. Anyone that knows my streams, I really stick to the really um, kind of laid back, low key areas. But yeah, it is kind of fun to change it up a little bit and show the the kind of typical neon lights and this kind of different face of Japan. I try to change up my stream every now and then. You know, I try to cross the street here. We're not done yet, we'll go through the... You know, it's actually a really small kind of area. Like, you get the idea that it's this massive, like, jungle of, like, shops and stuff, but it's really just like this one street. It's just this one street with a lot of lights and neon and color and stuff. I mean, when you go inside, yeah, the shops are, like, really tall, and there's, like, layers and layers and layers of floors with all kinds of stuff to do and see on the inside. But on the ex outside, the external, it's really actually pretty small. It's pretty um, small compared to like Shinjuku and Shibuya. But yeah, again, on the inside of the buildings, that's kind of where all of the action is and all the stuff that you can buy. Yeah, very dense. That's a good way to put it. It's small but dense and tall. Very tall. Actually, not that tall. There's taller places, like Tokyo, like Tokyo Station area. And also, this is just the main street. You can also go down like these other back roads too. It's probably like maybe, I would say three, maybe maximum four parallel streets around this area of stuff to see. But the main road is these, these two sidewalks here. I guess, what about maybe four or five blocks, I guess, maximum, something like that. Yeah, that is a Sega arcade. After the, after the pandemic settles down, I'll plan to do some more indoor stuff. And when I can figure out how to get a better signal, I'll do some like, you know, I, they don't normally let me film in arcades, but I'll find some more interesting places where I can film. 
so far all of my streams have been kind of like outdoor only and that's been interesting enough I think but it would be cool to explore the deep dense parts of Tokyo and all of the activity and stuff there is to do unfortunately a lot of these shops are um, closed now right now so it's really not as interesting as it could be and there's not a lot of people out it seems like a lot of the maids and stuff like you see these girls dressed up as maids they're like there's they're very scarce normally they're like every two feet there's a girl dressed as a maid handing out the stuff but they're also wearing jackets because it's really cold so maybe i just didn't notice What is that? Mega Man. Oh yeah, for sure. The weekend would be much more uh, interesting. Midweek. Right now, with no tourism, this is definitely not the best time to come. Coming here in the winter time on a Wednesday night, close to eight o'clock, when things are shutting down at eight, no tourism. This is probably as quiet and as boring as this place could possibly be. So you can only imagine that during the normal time, this would be much more much, much more wild, much more interesting, much more um, stimulating. Yeah, so someone mentioned that they imagined that Tokyo would be the city that doesn't sleep. But no, it's not the case, it shuts down. <clears throat> it shuts down because there's a last train. So people all have to catch the last train by like 11 or midnight. Um, just a tip if you come here and you wanna film the, uh, the, the girls, like the, the maid girls, they don't wanna be filmed. You shouldn't film them. Like they'll turn their face or hide their face. Don't try to like go up and take a photo of them or with them or something. I think some of them don't care, but most of them... Like, you see pictures online where they're, like, doing, like, peace sign with people and stuff, but usually they don't want to be seen on camera. Wow, this is really tall. Super tall. Oh, There's one shop I really like that I remember. I've only actually been here two times. One time I just passed through, and the other time I did a stream here, but otherwise I've never really walked around and did anything. Um, but there, I do remember when I streamed here last time, there's a really cool shop right up here. And I'm wondering, um, I'm wondering if, it's, if I walked past it already and it might've been closed. It's really easy to find. Anyway, it's a video game store. I'm wondering if I can find it. No, I think it's probably closed right now. It's like an old vintage video game store. They have like N64 and like uh, Famicom and all that kind of stuff. Maybe it's up here. It was somewhere around here. This was it. I feel like this was it. it was, I thought it was right here. A lot of businesses did have to shut down because of the COVID. 
lack of tourism, so I wonder. Or maybe, no, here it is, here it is. Ah, but they've already brought a lot of stuff inside, unfortunately. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay, but they're ready. I don't know why, but they brought everything inside or they changed the exterior. But normally, this uh, retro game camp right here, it's called retrogamecamp.com. There's an advertisement for them. Um, normally, they have uh, all of the games are like spread out here, like out into the sidewalk. And you can like watch the old Super Nintendo, and they have all these N64 games. And, all this vintage stuff. So like the the, ent the shop entrance is super cool. I don't know why it's not why they're why they changed it, but um, I wanted to show you guys all the cool stuff. You can see some old games here. I may have to do a stream sometime in the future here when things are normal and. Um, and everything's back to like normal. The old family computer right there. If I can go in real quick, would you guys be interested? Ah, send me my sand. Hold on, he's with a customer right now. Just a moment. It seems like they're closing. Okay, she was about to close. Well, he said it's okay, so maybe just five minutes. We'll just look around. monsters okay so that's cool I don't have to worry about other people coming in this crowded place because I just got closed in we'll just look around for a minute I'm gonna get out I know people that work in stores hate when someone comes in at the last minute and doesn't leave by the way you can imagine the prices are all similar to US dollars. So for example, 9.80 would be $9.80, roughly, just say $10 or $9. But you can just move the decimal point two points and you can imagine what the price would be in US dollars. Oh, look at this old Game Boy. I would buy something, but I don't have any like retro game consoles right now to play anything on. So I would have to buy something first to play it on. If I see something I can buy, I will, but I really don't have any option. Anyway, I'm giving them advertising. So this is kind of free advertising for them. show the advertisement one more time on the way out. That's what I'll do. I'll give them a shout out. I don't want to bother them anymore, so I'm going to get out. But let me show you one more thing. Look at this guy. 16-bit pocket HDMI. HDMI game console. 16-bit pocket. Sounds like he's closing the register anyway. Hey, 
はいすみません Yeah, I, they were like closing their register. He had all the cash out on the table and everything. I don't want to bother him with buying something, plus, I don't have any use right now for it. But let me just give them a shout out then as an advertisement. So, there we go. It's the retrogamecamp.com. If you come to Akihabara in Tokyo, go here and you can buy some old retro games for pretty good prices. And I think they have an upstairs too, so they probably have some really cool stuff. So, hopefully, that advertisement will satisfy the. Um, my gratitude to them for letting me in. Everything is shutting down, lights are turning off, so it's a good time for me also to shut down.、Um, where's a good place to. Well, I'll stick around for just a little bit more. I think we have a little bit more over here. Of gacha machines. In my first stream that I did here a long time ago,、um, I went into this shop and I looked at all the gacha machines. You can go back and find it on my Reddit page or whenever I upload it to my、um, my YouTube. So many maid cafes around here. I've also never done a maid cafe. I really have no interest to do that. I feel like it would be really awkward and weird. But anyway, it's kind of a tourist attraction in Tokyo, so. I'm not gonna hate on it. All right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We had fun, saw a different face of Tokyo than I normally show. Yeah, now we're kind of at the end. So, yeah, that was about, what, four blocks, I guess? Oh, someone said Trader. Yeah, so you were mentioning Trader. Actually, I don't know what that is. I'll have to look it up later. You mentioned there's a cool shop there. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you see this sign here, tax free, that's really good for visitors, so for tourists.、Um, so, if you're a tourist, you can. Bring your passport to the shop and you can get、uh, tax free on whatever you buy.、So、it's actually a really good benefit of being a tourist in Tokyo. Residents like myself cannot enjoy those benefits. Okay, goodbye, Akihabara. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for watching. And、uh, look forward to my stream this weekend. I have a good one planned for Sunday. Let me find a good place to end this. Maybe just simply right here. Yep, thank you. Bye bye. I'm going to end the stream over here with the lights and such. Nah, it's kind of far. I'll just end it here then. This is pretty good. Okay, see you guys. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Take care. Goodbye. Yep, see you Sunday.